Hello everyone, good to see you, Paul Tranny here. Take a photo of yourself, right, clean it up, and then we'll share it with the rest of the world. We will use still that spot healing brush right over here. And these are most of our healing tools that we'll use. Now and we'll just kind of go in and we'll do some cleanup. A lot of times we'll go over here off to the side, like see this Band-Aid, which totally works out. Totally love to use the Band-Aid. Some people will start stamping away. And some people will say, oh, you should duplicate this layer. What's the, du the shortcut for duplicate? Command J to jump the layer. So some people will work on this layer. Yeah, you could do that if you want. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make a new layer because anytime you use a tool over here and in your options bar, these are all the options you get for that tool, but off right over here, sample all layers. Just turn that on. That means you could work on a separate layer above everything else. So just turn that sample all layers on and then you can get to work cleaning up this photo. So we control the brush size with the open and closing bracket. Open bracket will make it smaller, closing bracket will make it larger, but we make it the size of the area that we're working on and then we'll just click and it will sample from the areas around it. And that's the fastest way to do cleanup. So you go in, oh, I get a little like real redness there. And what's happening to my layer, as you can see, you can see that it's adding all those spots onto this individual layer, which is what I like. So again, like, what is that dust? Would I get rid of this awesome scar? No, I had this custom made on my face, right? I had it surgically applied. So right in here, we get all these lovely tools in here and I wanted to kind of still do some, some stamping out. And sure enough, right in here, we also have a Band-Aid. Let's look at the difference between these two. As I select this, this is still gonna be the spot removal tool. If I go in here, like let's remove this little dot, right, bink. When we do that, it shows me that it actually samples from this area. So I can control the sample point, like sample from over here and put it there. Patch tool is awesome because it allows you to define an area and kind of like what we did with Camera Raw, saying, hey, you know, this is what I want to patch, but patch it from down here. Let me control where that patch is coming from, boom, and put it up there. I know it looks a little extreme right now. We're going to fix it in a second, but just use the patch tool and you can easily kind of define that area, paste it up there. And um, two, two things you might want to play with when it comes to the patch tool is the structure, how much of detail of uh, what you're sampling are you grabbing, and then the color as well. How much of the color are you keeping uh, of the dark circles under my eyes? So mine is a set to five and then two. And notice how it's also set to sample all layers. What does that mean? Well, it means that I actually was able to work on this separate layer. And now we have, you know, under eyes. Okay, and again, this is too extreme. We want to take that down, take down that opacity a lot. Again, we're kind of just kind of getting rid of the color. That's what, again, that's typically what I would do is just like lighten it up a little bit. Looks good. Again, before, after, before, after. You guys seeing that? We got it done. So now what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and share this because this is all about photo editing and sharing. We're going to save this as a document cloud file, a PSDC, so portrait, like so, saving it. Now that it's saved in the cloud, I have the ability to edit it. And what's awesome about this, by the way, is like, I'm not publishing a JPEG that's disconnected from the PSD, right? I don't have to, oh, what, what JPEG was that? And go find the PSD for that, that made the JPEG. No, they're actually looking at the PSD and that's exactly the one I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna jump in here, I'll hit change. I will turn this on to anyone with the link can view this and comment on it. Because maybe I want to get other people's opinions, right? Copy link before I post it to my profile and I get an onslaught of everybody. But there's that link. I'll actually paste that in. Uh, so everybody actually is able to comment on it. And people can come in. Because one thing you might have noticed, the shallow depth of field made my nose blurrier. So one of the comments might be right here. And I know exactly what part they're talking about, which is my nose. Bingo, like so. So thanks so much and we will see you all very soon.